Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And if at any point in time in this video you guys like what you see, make sure you guys hit on that like button. As well as don't forget to hit on that subscribe and hit on that bell for notifications so you get notified of any future videos. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the three different ways you'll be able to have your phone displayed as it's being charged. So right now I do have this thing being plugged in. And the three different ways that we're able to talk about today is number one, keeping the phone always on so it's always staying awake. You'd also be able to have it have a screen saver with multiple different Different options and the other way is going to be the normal by default going to a black screen or going over into the always on display now if you do have your always on display that's set up through the normal settings of always on display to where it does pop up when the screen is off then it's able to show this but how I have mine set up is I went through my always on display and I have it set up for a time schedule that right around that midnight time frame this will actually just go to a normal black screen since I am sleeping and I don't really need to see my always on display so the first one that we're going to talk about is the normal default way that almost everybody has their phone set up, which is going to be dealing with the always on display or the screen just turning black when it's being plugged in. So first off, let's go over into the settings. We're going to go down to where it says the lock screen and security because this is dealing with a lock screen. And this is where you have the option down here for the lock screen and always on display. When you click on this option here for the always on display, this is where you can either have it on or off and you can also set your schedule. So right now my schedule is set that the always on display will be turned on from 7 a.m. until basically 1159 because usually around midnight is when I would like to go to bed and I don't really need to look at my phone as I'm sleeping. So I don't need to have always on display, you know, displayed through the night so it doesn't take any of the battery. Now, the second option you'd be able to use is by pulling down the notifications panel, clicking on the settings icon, then you're going to be clicking on display. And then underneath display, you're going to have an option towards the very bottom where it says screensaver. Now, when you choose on this option and you turn it on, you have a whole bunch of different options you'd be able to do for screensaver. So the moment that you have this thing plugged in and when the screen times out, then now this is where this little screensaver come into play and you can also preview it. So for the colors, it's just these different colors that's on the screen that's able to kind of play and go through it so if for some reason as you're charging your phone you kind of want it to also be on this is one of the options as a normal screensaver similar to a laptop or a computer now the next option right down the list is going to be appy geek and so you might not have this one unless if you have appy geek that is downloaded to your phone but there is an option right here from the app of appy geek that gives you the little screensaver option which is going to be showing you some news articles that's been happening recently now the thing that's nice about appy geek is that it actually pulls all of the blogs together in one source to give you all of your news so you saw a little bit before it showed BGR. This one's gonna be the ZDNet US. This is TechCrunch. So really almost anything that you would probably read in the mobile or technology world or finance world, everything will be right here with Appy Geek. You also have a photo table, which is just gonna be throwing together all these different photos that's on your phone. Um, you can choose where these pictures are coming from. So you can get them from your camera. You can get them from screenshots, Facebook, Allo images. You can even have GIFs that pop up and everything else. Um, and and then you also have the option for photo frame so it only shows one image and then slides over and goes to the next image um, so the photo table if you're going to be using pictures is pretty fun and you also have an option right here for google photos now again the screensaver will not pop on until your little display has timed out so i do want to go back over into the settings i want to show you really fast where that is because if you do have something plugged in you're probably wondering when is my screensaver going to pop up but it's all dealing underneath the display and you're going to scroll down to where it has the screen timeout and you have the option of 15 30 seconds or one minute two minute five minute ten minute now also the the thing that's pretty funny is that some people ask the question hey i want mine to stay on longer than 10 minutes um, maybe even indefinitely i want to have this thing always on or always awake so here is the very next option you're able to do which is the third and final option it's a way you'd be able to keep your screen always awake maybe you're working at a desk or you're at home and you always want to keep this thing turned on on as it's also being charged here is the way you'd be able to do it so first off go through that little screen timeout and set the time that you want it to have the little timeout happen um, and then what's going to happen is you want to go over into your settings you're going to scroll down to where it says about phone because underneath about phone is where you have to unlock developer options now if you do not have developer options unlocked yet this is how you're able to do it click on that about phone you're going to go down to your software information and then you're going to go to build number and you're going to basically tap on that seven times once you've tapped on that seven times now you have unlocked 
unlocked default developer options and on the very top towards the very top up here when you have this thing turned on now this is where you have the option for stay awake so now a couple other things that i do turn on since we're kind of in here is going to be the usb debugging um, and then also the next ones that i'm going to do down here is going to be dealing with my little window animation scales i always have these things turned off because i want you know if i'm going to be doing a action with my phone i want it to go directly to the screen and not have a little animation window or animation scale that's happening but the important thing here is going to be the stay awake because now what's going to happen is if this thing let's say i go over into my display uh, settings and we go down to the screen timeout if i put it down to 15 seconds and if we were to wait the 15 seconds the screen will actually not turn off um, it'll actually always stay awake and stay on as long as it is being plugged in so now I've sat here for probably close to 20 to 25 seconds to see if anything else happened. Really all that happened was it dimmed down just a little bit. It's all depending on the light source that's in your room. And you can still see here too that I didn't even touch the screen, but it turned right back up um, because it noticed that there was a little bit of movement that was happening around. So if you want to have your phone always stay on um, while it's being charged, that's the only way you'd be able to do it because you don't want to have something that's indefinitely always on, you know, forever, even if you weren't charging it because maybe this thing was just sitting in a room but you're just going to completely kill your battery there's a lot of people that don't even hit the power button when they put this thing in their pocket and now it's always going to be on the screen here where they're going to be accidentally playing and touching these different applications and maybe pocket dialing people and the screen never turns off so usually mine is set up for two minutes two minutes is a long enough time for me to get everything done um, and then if you wanted to and you have the option for stay awake as long as it's plugged in then you'd be able to always have this thing on and awake for you to always you know, be active with a phone that is being charged. So this is where the curiosity question is gonna be coming into play for this video. Let me know which of these three you have set up right now. And also let me know which of these three is something that you might be going over and switching into. So I can kind of see if this video helped you guys persuade you into doing something else that you have not already had set up. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. Make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also hit on subscribe if you have not subscribed already. It's gonna be right over here. And you can share this video with your friends and family, put it on all over your social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later.